Hello, I'm Edgar X, Toy Cat, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. This is the Willy series where I show you seeds for Minecraft, which are particularly interesting and worth checking out in some way. And today, I'm going to be checking out a brand new seed, which is useful for Minecraft 1.13.0, because of course, when a brand new update comes out for Minecraft, you want to check out all the brand new features. And of course, you can do that on most seeds at some point in your seed. However, if you want to check out the brand new abandoned villages, it's much easier to do so with a brand new seed. But of course, Minecraft, the game won't recommend you one, and given it's only been out for a few days, it might be hard to find a seed elsewhere, which is why today I'm going to be showing you a decent seed with an abandoned village as well as a couple of other things you might just find interesting. So I hope you do all enjoy today's video where I show that off. The seed's going to be on screen right now. If you type that into any Minecraft Bedrock platform, you too can enjoy the fruits of the 1.13 update and indeed you can enjoy the fruits of this spawn right here where there's a river going right for a mountain on one side and a river heading towards a abandoned village on the other. That's right, we're going to jump straight into it because there's an abandoned village found along this river. It actually blocks off the river in quite a few different places, but it's a very interesting village because it is one of the brand new types. This, of course, is a type of village which existed before the Village and Pillage update and which was added to the Village and Pillage update on Java a while ago, but which has only just made its way to the Village Pillage update on the Bedrock Edition. And this means that if you want to find a zombie-filled village as opposed to a regular one, if you want to find a village filled with cobwebs, which are a, you know, limited and rare kind of thing, if you want to find a village filled with mossy cobblestone, and indeed you just want to find a place with no villagers attached, then boy, is this village the one for you. It's very weird and strange to say, and honestly, they contain the old wells, so, you know, there's a part of this that feels like it's an old school Minecraft thing, but yeah, you can find all sorts of weird buildings that literally could not generate before this update. You ever want to see a church but made out of mossy cobblestone? This is the only way you can legitimately find this. Also, some of the windows are replaced by cobwebs, which is a bit confusing, because if it's abandoned, you'd figure that wouldn't mean that some of the windows start breaking, but you're not. The questions are not ones that the game can answer right now. Uh, speaking of questions the game can't answer, why do cats still generate here? I don't know, but they do. So you find cats and you find zombies here. That's just about it. I mean, besides all the pigs everywhere. Also, you'll still find these cows and the horses spawning everywhere. And perhaps most interestingly of all, you'll also find some village planters, like you can see over here, even though some of these blocks are going to be replaced by cobwebs. And you can also find yourself a blacksmith chest. And these things are super useful because guess what? All the same loot is going to be possible. It's randomized each time you load up a seed. But iron sword, iron horse armor, or diamond sword, diamond horse armor, both of those things are entirely possible. Would you like to also find uh, some leather pants and some bread? Well, boy, you can get yourself going today. Wait, get, get, guess what? You can take the leather pants and some bread and you can make a leather pants sandwich. That is an editing thing we're still doing for Seed Sunday. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoy it too. The editor definitely doesn't. But yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a abandoned village this close to spawn. That's the spawn over there. This is the nearest abandoned village. And it's nearest village in general too, which is something really interesting to check out. But it doesn't mean the rest of the seed is a write-off. Again, on Seed Sunday, I try not to show things which are a one-hit wonder. And this definitely is a great one-hit wonder in that way. But I try to show off the rest of the seed at least a little bit too. So let's do that now. So just to the south of the village, or in this direction of the village, towards the mountain, which is backwards from the spawn, uh, you're going to find a plains biome and most plains biomes are pretty flat because you know they're called plains that's literally you know the great plains whatever like uh, it's a big 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 flat area usually however every now and then you find a plains which is actually pretty darn mountainous and this is one of the most extremely mountainous plains I've ever seen admittedly it just about intersects into a mountain biome but this is technically a plains as you can see from the corn flowers that generate everywhere and as you can see from the kind of wacky thing going on right here again this is just some really cool generation that you can take advantage of and people are going to think that you did this yourself, but guess what? You did nothing yourself. You just loaded up a seed that you saw on Seed Sunday, but you know what? As far as your friends who don't watch Seed Sunday are concerned, that basically means the same thing. Also, as you might have guessed from the spawn location, there are extreme mountains all over here, and they're actually pretty extreme versions of extreme mountains. They might be covered in gravel, but they are actually pretty mountainous. Again, something you don't usually see with the Minecraft Bedrock Terrain generation is that, you know, this sort of stuff. So, seeing the terrain uh, generate in much wackier, much taller, much more interesting ways, that's something you can get with this seed. So if you like weird generation in terms of, uh, you know, obviously the abandoned village, but also in terms of the plains, but also in terms of this mountain, boy, has this seed got you covered. But just as a nice treat in case you think weird generation isn't good enough. And if that's the case, who are you to say you're better than a seed? You think you're too good for weird? Well, if you think you're too good for weird, then the world's going to think it's too good for you. You're going to be left alone and sad and you're going to die in a tragic way. And that's not good, is it? And you're going to die alone. And you know why you're going to die alone? It's because, you know, you didn't accept that weird was a possibility, a thing that you might need 
to accept from the world. Speaking of things you need to accept from the world, if you head to the north far enough, as you can see we've done, you'll find another plains biome. This one is a sunflower plains, so another kind of rare biome generation. And uh, also you can see how there's a village over here. It's not as cool a village because there's no zombie villagers, but it's still somewhat interesting. But the reason we're heading in this direction is because if you keep on heading in this general vague way, you head from plains to village to other thing to this to eventually a mesa biome. This is something a lot of people really like on a seed, and to have this on the same seed as an abandoned village is something that's rather wonderful in my opinion. So yeah, a pretty huge, pretty, uh, you know, decently uh, varied mesa biome. What's not to love over here? Except, what's that? It gets better than this. That's right, if you head to these coordinates right here, you can actually find an abandoned mineshaft built into the mesa. Uh, again, these were made so much rarer in a previous Minecraft uh, updates to have abandoned mineshafts. So it's kind of cool to see that you see a lot of these different entrances all in the same thing. And they even go outside the mineshaft again. Again, reminiscent of the old mesas, which were just covered in abandoned mineshafts. And uh, yeah, it expands over quite a decent distance as well. As you can see, there's even a chest out in the open over here. One and iron pickaxe for free, game's gonna give it to you. Wanna have another set of free loot for free? Game's gonna give you some coal and some gold and a golden apple too. Uh, so yeah, really wonderful seed in all the other ways. It's also got some nice cold biomes nearby, wrapped around the mesa, which again, makes a really good combination. Because if you want to get some snowy foxes, this seed is also going to be the one for you. And yeah, this mesa biome uh, expands in some pretty huge directions against some pretty weird biome combinations. Again, it's not common to see you know, Mesa and then Swamp, right? So you ever want to see that biome pairing? Boom, the seed's got you covered. You want to see what Mesa looks like when it's next to a Plains biome? That's actually very common, but you can see it just over here. If you head to these coordinates right here, you can also see at the extreme edge, there's another abandoned mine shaft in the Mesa. And this one actually hangs from the ceiling in a way that you don't see very often. So isn't it cool to have a nice bit of extra generation that way? Also, hits against the desert and a swamp. Again, again a savannah. Just a reminder as to how huge this Mesa biome is, and that maybe that's a thing you enjoy. And if it's not a thing you enjoy, then bad news. You're watching a seed video all about something which doesn't quite fit your niche, does it? But yeah, to round this seed out, it's a really, really decent spawn location with a few pretty great things nearby and a few much greater things in a further away uh, sense. And it's a just great opportunity to play around with a brand new feature, which you might want to do. Not every seed has to be the perfect seed for every, uh, you know, use case for super long-term worlds. Sometimes seeds can be there for curiosity and then there to expand on if you so choose to. And that's what I would say this seed is a wonderful example of. It's a wonderful example of a seed with something that's just got something easy for you to access and then has the things further away if you so choose to dive into them. And uh, yeah, now hopefully you appreciate the seeds that I do say are worth starting whole survival world over now that you've seen this. Or maybe you think, no, Toy Cat, every world should be the perfect thing to start a brand new survival world because I want long-term survival worlds for every week and if that's what you want I'm very confused by your demands but what I can say instead is hope you all enjoyed this video Seed Sunday is pretty short this week but you know what else is short my temper when you don't like this video to let me know you liked it but no, more seriously, hope you all enjoyed seeing a seed with a pretty good close to 0-0 zero, zero spawn, a pretty decent, uh, you know, set of uh, biomes for varied exploration, an abandoned village, and uh, some things that are out there for you to go and get. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of, like, quick update, quick seed kind of thing, or if you think, nah, actually, I want, want more from my seed Sunday. Because, you know, cool thing about this channel is it's an ever-growing process where the feedback can come from you, and help improve the future content. That's something you don't get in traditional media and indeed in a lot of YouTube channels, but I like that we're changing and growing and evolving these sorts of things every single week. And if you enjoy that too, then I hope you enjoyed this video because I'll see you all in the next one.